Hello and welcome back to the final video in the short course on how to get clouds created out of anything inside of Houdini using VOPs without any simulation. And there was a question which I thought was pretty obvious if you finish the VOPs course that we have in another playlist on YouTube. However, it's not awfully apparent if you're just doing the just doing the clouds course. So I decided to talk um, a little bit about how could you animate your clouds without actually simulating anything. So as you can see, I have opened the um, result from the lesson number two. And if we go inside of our VOPs, uh, we can see the noises that are connected and the volume sample gets to the volume output. However, in order to animate this, um, if I have the voxel size like 0 0.02, it will take actually forever to animate anything. So I will drop it to 0 0.3. Uh, so it will evaluate much faster. So, okay, as you can see, we have this and it took about a second to evaluate the numbers. So what do we do? Uh, we go inside of our volume up press enter and as you can see the volumes uh, we can have different frequency offsets um, inside the big volume inside the small volume right and uh, of course we can animate this so how do we do that uh, to make it animated properly we have to expose the parameters so to do just that we can middle click on any parameter for example here we middle click and uh, promote parameter in the roughness, middle click promote parameter. Actually, you can promote anything, but the turbulence will not be animated great because the turbul uh, turbulence goes into one, two, three. Um, it's not a float, right? It's an integer, so animating this <laughs> will not do you well, it will not be great. Okay, so and the turbulent noise too, which is our uh, defined uh, kind of like added added roughness on top, as you can remember. Uh, so we can animate amplitude. I think it uh, looks really interesting. So again, uh, we get into the, first of all, offset, promote parameter, amplitude, prom promote parameter, and roughness, promote parameter. I think we will be fine with just animating these uh, five parameters. So, okay, as you can remember, the first two are for our kind of like big, um, big forms and shapes and the three below them is for smaller um, shapes. So what, what do we do? Uh, first of all, I would like to hold down the Alt key and left click on everything that we have here, uh, which will actually create the key for our animation. And let's say we want to animate for, I don't know, let's say 30, uh, 36 frames so what do we do now uh, we will see like uh, let's let's change the offset to let's say 0 0.5 okay looking good uh, roughness maybe drop to 0. Point, why not 5 as well um, now it actually maybe 5.5 five. okay this is better so again alt left click Alt, left click. Uh, don't forget that we actually are already on the frame number 36, right? So it's already is being animated through the frames. Um, and for our uh, kind of like smaller noise with the higher definition, let's actually move it through the Z axis, for example. Uh, again, here will be 0 0.5, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. I currently. I'm making these numbers up as we go. Amplitude, maybe 0 0.5 and something, 0 0.6. Uh, roughness, maybe even a little bit more. So let's actually alt left click, alt left click. And now if we start kind of like clicking and scrolling through, we can see that our cloud is being animated. All right, so to actually preview it in real time, you can get to the flipbook. So hold down the left, left mouse button, create flipbook with new settings, 
Uh, me personally, I think you'll be fine if your resolution, it, by default, I think it's like the HD. I just want to make it full HD so that, you know, it's a little bit bigger because like you remember, I said it before, I have a 4K screen, so those numbers are really small for my uh, display. So, and now, uh, this is why I actually decreased the uh, volume, uh, the voxel size, because so it, to speed up the computation. So if we press the start, it will open up another, um, another window where we will see our preview of our animation of the cloud. And we will see that here it's being evaluated frame by frame. But here already we can do the real-time animation. You can disable and enable the real-time toggle if you press this one. But I think uh, viewing it real-time will be just, you know, whoops, <laughs> uh, will be just fine. Okay, so we have gone through more than half of it. Uh, let's let's wait for another, I don't know what, 10 seconds or something. And let's see how that will go. Me personally, I think it looks kind of okay, uh, but maybe it's a little bit too fast changing, but you know, just for the sake of the visualization, I think uh, changing the results a little bit faster than you should ex you could expect is fine so if we play this you can see that our um, our cloud is indeed animated and it looks really me personally i think for like a minutes of efforts <laughs> the result is much better than i expected so if you spend like instead of one minute maybe three minutes on it uh, maybe it will be amazing so anyway the point is that we did not simulate anything we were just controlling the noises and animating them super easy uh, super fast super fun and yeah there you go so this is this is how easy it is to animate it of course um, it might take a little bit of time to get used to making those noises um, connecting them and making the clouds look really good um, obviously comes with experience i think but if you got through this uh, little series, I think you are on the right track and nothing stops you from creating your own personal like setups. And uh, again, don't forget to watch the VOPS series if you haven't already, because there are more things that you can, uh, that you can learn about VOPS that might and should help you creating interesting setups instead of the VOPS, um, despite the fact that we were working with uh, surface wops and now we work with like the volume wop but anyway uh, hopefully this was helpful um hopefully you learned a thing or two about clouds animating them and rendering and creating and overall about working with vdbs exporting and everything in between so yeah uh, if you like the video press the like button if you don't want to miss anything else uh, press the subscribe button and if you have ideas and suggestions, uh, don't hesitate to leave in the comments below. I try to read all of your comments and respond if needed. With that out of the way, um, I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next one. Goodbye.